Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we are taking a look at what we might be seeing in iOS 12.1 beta 3. We have a lot of questions like what new features should we be seeing, what changes need to be made, and also when will we be seeing the official release of iOS 12.1? Let's find out. This video is sponsored by Clean My Mac X. If you need to speed up your Mac or PC, then Clean My Mac is for you. This program also combats malware and viruses and has a ton of other features that I use on a daily basis. So if you want to speed up your computer and protect it at the same time, check out Clean My Mac via the link in the video description below. Okay, so let's start out with new features and we are still expecting some from the keynote event that Apple had in early September. So first we have the ECG feature for the Apple Watch and that was said to come in an update of iOS and watchOS. Basically this feature will allow you to do an EKG like test on your heart via the crown of the Apple Watch Series 4 only. So with that being said, iOS 12.1 seems to be the perfect update to see this feature in, especially since Apple claimed this feature along with others would be coming quote unquote later this year. Now, along with that feature, we are also waiting on some iPhone XS specific features as well. The eSIM or electronic SIM feature should be allowing dual SIM card support for selected carriers. And while that should be available, we haven't seen it in iOS 12.1 betas just yet. What is a good sign is that we are seeing eSIM information already and also some available features for the eSIM technology. Given this feature is supported on multiple networks and there is really nothing major stopping Apple from adding this feature, we should be seeing it very, very soon in the betas. It's obviously been long anticipated and highly requested by a lot of users, so stay tuned for more news on that. So the last two features are ones that Apple really have been quiet about, but the first one that we should be seeing is new Animoji. Animoji did receive a few more characters with the first iOS 12 betas, but we haven't seen any since then. And obviously with new emoji presented to us in iOS 12.1 beta 2, we just have to have further expansion with Animoji. Let me know in the comment section down below how you like this feature. And also if you want to see more Animoji in iOS 12.1. The second feature is wallpapers. These new live wallpapers specific to the iPhone XS are absolutely stunning. And there are also great static wallpapers that have been around for quite a while on every single device. But we only have one specific iOS 12 wallpaper right now, and we would all like to see more live wallpapers for all devices, not just the new ones, and maybe some static ones as well. So hopefully we see more movement on those soon, more news on that topic when we know more. Okay, so we have some possible new features and what about those changes? Honestly, in my opinion, I think that there needs to be some more work done on group FaceTime. It can still get a little bit faster and also needs some bugs worked out and maybe battery life could be better all around on basically all devices. I really cannot put my finger on the battery life issues because in the betas of iOS 12, everything seemed to be fine, but now there's issues on iOS 12. So hopefully iOS 12.1 solves that issue and we see further improvement in beta three. My update on battery life in beta two comes tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. So with all of that being said, you might want to know when we might be seeing the official release of iOS 12.1. Well, two years ago, Apple had an October event, and at that event, they released their MacBook lineup, which was super rare, but it was at the end of October, I believe, on the 27th. If we take a look at this year, that date is not on a weekday. So I predict that we might be seeing an Apple event on Thursday, October 25th, and then the official release of iOS 12.1, along with some new products coming on October 26th. So fingers crossed for that date, and of course, we'll update you on those dates when we know more. So guys, that is all you need to know about iOS 12.1 betas and what we might be seeing next. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also join the conversation down below in the comment section. If you guys want to stay up to date on our content, don't forget to get subscribed and also hit that bell button. We hope to see you in our next video, but until then, we hope you all have an awesome day.